what I was going to do a video on these coils. I'm going to take it off, test it, and then refit the set in the air gap. Obviously, there's an air gap in between this and the spinning flywheel. That's so you can get it close enough to create a spark, but obviously not touching it. This is your, it's like a brake sort of thing, but it also goes through this. So it, when that touches there, it earths out the coil and stops the spark. So that's just what that is. Right, I'll whip this off quick. Just going to get the magnet out of the way there. There's just two 10 millibolts, millimetre bolts. And that's it, it's off. So I'll just test that now. So on these, you've got a primary side where you test between this and the metal and the secondary side where you test between this and the metal so I'll do that now so you want to set the meter to resistance So I ain't getting a very good reading on that for some reason. Should be pretty low, like 1.2 ohms or something. So 1.4 ohms there. And then I'll test. And that's 12 kilo ohms, so 12,000 ohms. So that's a good ignition coil. And next I'll set up and I'll fit it back on. Set in the air gap. So how I fit these is I put a piece of paper on, it's folded up four ways, like that, folded up four ways, stick it on, and you get this the right way, and just put it on the magnet, obviously like I turn the magnet so it's facing the coil, and then it pulls it in and sticks it to it, I'll just make sure I've got that right. And that should set your gap, but obviously you want to check it with your feeler gauge afterwards. Pull it out and then plug it in. Just make sure you can turn it, you take it scraping and obviously test it with your feeler gauge, make sure the gap's correct because there's a gap just between the flywheel and the coil. Might as well have a look at this as well, I'll just put it onto continuity, should beep. So just check it to make sure the coil will be nerved out correctly when it should be which it is so it's going through here through this block here into the that's us part of the here so I'll just clean it up a bit Just so you can get a good reading. Then I'm going to test between the electrode and the end. So it's 4,000 kilo ohms. So it must be resistive. It's got an R in it, so it is resistive. Just means you've got a resistor in it, it stops interference with your telly and things like that. 
and then you just want to test from the end to the body make sure you've got high reading which you have got it in the mega ohms so that's pretty good Oh, spark plug good coil's good the earthing system's good so the sparking system on this is pretty good 